Hello everyone, welcome to Medigac. Today we are going to discuss about venous ulcer. These are open sores on the ankle or lower leg are referred to as venous ulcers, sometimes known as venous stasis ulcers or non-healing wounds. They take weeks, months, and occasionally even longer to recover. We are going to discuss this topic into four parts, they are clinical features, pathophysiology, investigations, treatment. Now let's discuss the clinical features. A venous ulcer typically has a gently sloping edge, granulation tissue on the floor, and varying amounts of slough and exudate on top of it. Advanced venous ulcer forms thickened, pigmented and inflamed skin. Now come to the pathophysiology part. At first due to some pathology inside the body, venous pressure gets increased. Then it causes dilatation of vein and capillaries, capillary perfusion pressure decreased, endothelial tissue decrease and capillary permeability increase. Then WBC trapping and paracapillary fibrin deposition occurs. This leads to two results, one is decreased lymphatic drainage. And another one is collection of results, not efficient tissue perforation, reactive oxygen species develops and generates free radicals, proteolytic enzymes increased, growth factors inhibited, and which leads to formation of ulcer and delayed or poor wound healing. Now let's start the investigation part. Duplex scan to assess the status of the deep and superficial veins. Blood 4, CBC, glucose, ESR, CRP. Biopsies, this is indicated if any malignancies are suspected. Now come to the treatment part. Compression technique, by using orthopedic wool, cotton crepe, elastic bandage, cohesive bandage. Superficial venous surgery, reducing venous hypertension to treat superficial reflux. Pentoxifiline, decreased plasma cellular viscosity and cytokine inhibition result in an increase in microvascular perfusion. Biological dressing, keratinocytes and collagen meshes, this has shown improvement of healing. Pinch graft and ulcer excision with mesh grafting. 